Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be a little short and sweet, and it's going to show you how to let Corel Draw help you count your items. I do this job um, at least once a month for this lady. She she does plants, and these are the two two I'm cutting out tomorrow. All these, and I've got them nested together. This is the size of my laser bed. It's 40 by 28. But my plywood is only 30, so I've got some indexing lines at 30 and 24. So this takes up a full sheet, and I'll have a little bit left over on this sheet. But when, you, when you're nesting these, and you're moving them over, and you're duplicating them, and you kind of lose count. So instead of going, well, let's see how many there are, and go one, two, three, taking the time to count, if you'll take your pick tool, and just, and you can go past them, if you can see right there, I've got 31 objects. She wanted 30. I'm going to give her a cup of one extra. Well, same thing here. I've got 24 of these. Well, I've got six right there making 30. So it helps you count, you know, your items. There's 15. I need 15. So after you've got them nested together, as long as you don't, you know, go out the boundary and grab all like that Austin, you can go halfway down there and let's go. On that size cactus, I need 35. I'm giving her one extra and giving her 36 because it doesn't really cost any more. Anyway, so let Corel help you count. You know, you could even double check and have you a total and there's 237 and 90. So I can add those together and, and give me the information she's got to make sure I've got them all. So let Corel Draw help you count. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.